This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. For a second straight year, Liberty makes the short trip up Highway 29 this week to face in-state foe Virginia. The 6-4 and four Flames are one win away from becoming bowl eligible for the first time, while the 7-3 and three Cavaliers are poised to challenge for the ACC Coastal Division title. While Saturday's game is a big-time challenge, the Flames also see it as a great opportunity. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a blessing to be able to play a team like Virginia. Um, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity, and uh, being from Virginia, it's a good chance for Liberty to show uh, what Liberty can do. Um, and growing up, my brother was a Virginia Tech fan, so I guess I'll see if I can do him a favor. They are a team full of athletes, but they're also very disciplined. That is a, a hard team to beat when you're physical and you're also very disciplined. Um, and, and you also have uh, great athletes all around. Perhaps UVA's greatest athlete is quarterback Bryce Perkins. The senior leads the ACC and is 14th in the country with 2,932 yards of total offense. Along with Oklahoma's Jalen Hurts, Perkins is one of two players in the country with more than 2,400 yards passing and 450 yards rushing this year. You know, this is the first one we've played that uh, quarterback-wise is, is like they are. I mean, he's uh, he's pretty special. So, you know, I think it's our toughest task of the year. We're going to do what we can game plan wise to be able to contain him in the pocket and just rely on our linebackers and secondary just to be able to trigger whenever he does try to take off. And just try to, we're going to basically try to keep him in the pocket as much as we can because although he can throw, we'd rather him try to beat us with his arm rather than his legs. Last year, Perkins led UVA to a 45 24 win over Liberty in Charlottesville when he accounted for four of the Cavaliers' six touchdowns in the game. Liberty quarterback Buckshot Calvert is also playing his best football right now. In his last eight games, Calvert has thrown 22 touchdowns and no interceptions. I just feel like Coach Freeze and, you know, the offensive staff really put a scheme together where it fits me, um, you know, not really attacking down the field as much as, you know, I did last year, but, you know, attacking it more efficiently. And just watching Buckshot, it has really inspired me again to, to just that it confirmed that belief and reminded me, man, you want something, go work and get it. And when you get hit and knocked down or disappointed, you pick yourself back up. And watching him this year, the times he hasn't made the plays that he's capable of making, you know, it, it bothered him. It, it, and I relate to that. Galbert has thrown 281 passes since his last INT. However, last year at UVA, Calvert threw three interceptions and struggled with just 149 yards passing. This week, Calvert and the Flames face a Cavalier defense that has 34 sacks, the eighth most in the country and third in the ACC. You know, you can't really, you know, get scared of, of pass rush or anything like that because that, that'll get you off your, your eyes and where you have to go with the ball. So I think for me, just... Uh, not worrying about it, and if I get hit, I get hit. But just being able to stand in the pocket and uh, you know to deliver the balls down the field, I think would be a key focus for us. The Flames will need to limit turnovers and explosive plays from the Cavaliers, including special teams. Kick returner Joe Reed broke last year's game open with a kickoff return for a touchdown. Reed is currently second in the nation, averaging 35 yards per return with two touchdowns. Saturday's game kicks off at 12 noon inside Scott Stadium. The game can be seen on NBC Sports Washington and on the ACC Network Extra. Live radio coverage from Van Wagner on the Liberty Flame Sports Network begins Saturday morning at 10.30 on flagship station 88.3 FM Lynchburg, The Journey. For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.